Okay, so put on your tinfoil hats because it is conspiracy theory time. I don't normally do these kinds of videos, but um, today DJI released their DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And alongside it in the creator combo, they also um, announced DJI Mic 2. Now, um, if you're like me, you probably watched at least one or two of these Pocket 3 review videos by the um, content creators that were sent the camera early. And one thing I noticed about them is that while all of them, I think, used the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, which transmits audio directly to the Pocket 3 without the need of a receiver, none of them actually talked about any of the details around the DJI Mic 2. Two, which I thought was peculiar because they just kind of like turned it on. They said, oh, it comes with a wind muff. It comes with a magnetic clip. Um, it pairs directly with the camera. And this is what the audio sounds like. They didn't talk about any of the specific features or settings within the camera that you can adjust with regards to the microphone. And it got me thinking that DJI is being super covert about the release of their new DJI Mic 2. And because I'm an audio channel uh, and I love audio, I wanted to do a little bit of digging because uh, the fact that the DJI Mic 2 transmitter can transmit audio directly to the Pocket 3 is, is revolutionary. It's not something that's been done, I think, with any other camera. Um, having that built-in receiver functionality. And so it's a big deal. What's also a big deal that I didn't see any reviewers talking about is that the DJI Mic 2 transmitter has internal recording capabilities and records in 32-bit floating point format. And that's amazing because that's like one of the biggest selling points, in my opinion, for some of these wireless um, microphone solutions today. The ability to record internally in 32-bit float. And if you have seen my channels and my videos, you know that I am a big advocate for 32-bit floating point recordings for um, scenarios like that you would use the Pocket 3 for, where you don't have the ability to typically set levels and you don't have the ability to know ahead of time how loud certain things are going to be, like when you're out and about. So for me, having this 32-bit floating point capability is a really big deal that I didn't hear any of these reviewers talking about. I discovered it because I was curious about the DJI Mic 2 and I went to the Pocket 3 um, webpage found the manual and downloaded the manual, scrolled way down to the bottom of the audio section and read about the, um, the DJI Mic 2 and its capabilities. And it has things like, uh, like I think noise reduction. Um, you compare two transmitters with one Pocket 3 camera. They each have 32-bit float internal recordings and what really gets me is that I don't know if DJI had the foresight to include this functionality on their Osmo Action 4, which is what I'm recording this video on right now. Um, by the way, conspiracy theorists, don't worry, I'm not in a new space. I am actually just down in my wife's office, which is in the basement, which is, I think, uh, uh, the place where conspiracy theories are born, right? Basements. And so, uh, either way, I did some digging into how the DJI Mic 2 connects to the Osmo Pocket 3. And it's via Bluetooth. And I don't know enough about Bluetooth to have an understanding of this is possible. But from the information that I've dug up, 
um, based on one of the manuals online for uh, the wireless communication pro specifications. The DJI Mic 2 uses Bluetooth to transmit audio, but it uses the protocol uh, BREDR, which I think stands for Bluetooth Basic Rate and Enhanced Data Rate. The Pocket 3 uses the following Bluetooth protocols that uses BLE 5.2, which is Bluetooth Low Energy 5.2, but also BREDR. I looked at the Action 4, and unfortunately, the Action 4 only lists its Bluetooth protocol as being BLE 5.0. So if you are watching this video and you have a much deeper understanding of Bluetooth protocols and how they work out, um, let me know, know down in the comments below if something, if these two kind of different protocols are compatible. If the DJI Mic 2, which uses BREDR, could have the potential to send audio to the Action 4, which uses Bluetooth protocol BLE 5.0. And I only say this because this is a conspiracy theory video, because I know that a lot of you are watching this video right now are moto vloggers. And one of the issues that I have heard moto vloggers having is that you want your camera to remain waterproof while you're riding in inclement weather. And that's the DJI Osmo Action 4, right? You want that battery door to be closed or you want a battery door that has some kind of waterproofing um, seals that allow you to insert a microphone without fear of frying your camera. And so if DJI had the ability to transmit their DJI Mic 2 to the Action 4 while the Action 4 was completely sealed because it had the ability to receive that audio transmission, that would be a huge game changer for all of you moto vlogging folks out there because you could have the DJI Mic 2 transmitter someplace in your helmet or around your neck or I think you actually can plug in a lavalier mic into it and run that into your helmet, tuck it all the way into your jacket and have your Action 4 out in the weather, fully waterproof, but also receiving that audio transmission. So, I mean, I am hopeful for you for the upcoming uh, Osmo Action audio adapter which allows for a 3.5 millimeter input. I'm assuming just TRS, but it could be TRRS while we're throwing in conspiracy theories. Um, and dual charging via USB-C. DJI has been also really, really holding their cards close to their chest when it comes to that adapter too, right? Because at a listed 45 US dollar price point, it's hard to say what kind of technology they implemented in that audio adapter to make it worth that $45. If they did something like, I mean, the analog to digital conversion is one thing, but having a pass-through charging is an additional thing if it has a, some kind of smart sensing so that you can plug in a TRRS microphone and or a TRS microphone, that would be a whole nother thing, right? Um, if it has some kind of independent gain functionality control that actually manipulates the analog gain of whatever you connect to it, that's like another thing. So it could be that this adapter is worth it. Um, but regardless, I think that it's super exciting if you are an action camera enthusiast, if you're a DJI enthusiast, if you are a Pocket 3 enthusiast, and you appreciate good audio because DJI, in my opinion, is blazing the trail when it comes to putting out products that are innovative in the audio sphere, which is something that you don't see a lot of these days because people have just kind of settled down into 
being complacent with where we are with audio technology. But for DJI to, to roll out with their Pocket 3, a 32-bit floating point recorder in their DJI Mic 2, and who knows what that will be like once they start selling those units separately from the Pocket 3, not including them in the creator combo, right? Because you can add two DJI Mic 2s to one Pocket 3. So in my opinion, they will be selling uh, DJI Mic 2s standalone in some capacity. Whether or not they actually come with a receiver is another question. Um, but it's something that I think DJI is holding close to their chest because it sounds like all of the early reviewers that received the camera and the creator combos um, were not allowed to talk about some of these audio features when it comes to the settings that are available in the, in the Pocket 3 uh, for their DJI Mic 2 and or some of the functionality of the actual DJI Mic 2. So, ah, conspiracy theories abound. If DJI were to send me some things where I could test out and provide you with my feedback on the audio capabilities of the Pocket 3, the DJI Mic 2, how that might integrate into the Action 4, or even the new Action 4 audio adapter, I know a lot of you out there would be eager to see that kind of content. So. Thanks for um, humoring me with this conspiracy video. If you have any thoughts on this topic, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'm excited to see what DJI rolls out in the very near future, and hopefully we'll talk again real soon.